All right, viewers, the question that we are asking until the point this evening is the suspension justified or is it unfair? Cutting across to our panelists this evening, Sushmita Deb uh, got suspended from the Rajya Sabha this morning. She's from the TMC, she's a Rajya Sabha MP. She's been suspended for the course of the next one week. Rakesh Sinha, Rajya Sabha MP, Bharatiya Janata Party, Rohan Gupta, spokesperson, Congress. I want to connect to Mr. Sinha first. Mr. Sinha, you know, it's a question that is being raised by the opposition that there is an attempt right now to gag the voice of the opposition. They've been demanding a debate uh, on price rise, on GST. Why not have it? I, you know, there are two uh, uh, things in the parliament which are very important from the point of view of gagging the government or controlling the government. Uh, that is a check and balance on the government, that is the zero hour and the question hour. In zero hour, members are free to raise the uh, issue of public importance. There is no, no control from the government side. Any member can raise anything, it is approved by the chairman and almost every day you, you can check it that out of 20 uh, selected names or 15 selected names, 60-70% uh, remains from the opposition side. Even the BJP side or ruling party side, the name remains, they, they raise the uh, important public issues. Second is the question hour. Anyone can check the questions, how many questions are from the opposition or the ruling party benches. And the, Opposition is disrupting, continuously disrupting the both zero hour and question hour. We are shocked that this, this was a platform for the, raising the people's voice. This was an opportunity for the opposition parties to raise all the issues through the questions. By disrupting the question hour, which is basically the members' opportunity, by disrupting the zero hour, which is also the members' opportunity, what actually you are gaining? What issues before you? At the GST is the concern. Today, Sushil Modi ji from BJP raised a question in the parliament that the Aam Aadmi Party or Trimul Congress Party or other parties which are ruling, where they present in which the decision was taken to impose GST on certain items. The people from the ruling parties, from these states, they were part of that. What you are doing? In GST council you are taking one, de one, one decision and outside the GST council you are taking other decision, in house you are taking third decision. Such a hypocritical stand of the opposition party is un untenable. Second, one important thing I, I want to point out. You know, there, are, there, there may be certain situations when obstruction is important thing. Import, it becomes important. Some, some, some big scam. But a scam is happening in West Bengal, 21 crore. So just to divert the attention of the uh, 21 crore, here ED okay. is questioning Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi to divert the attention from that. So all the parties have their own agenda, agenda of their leadership. The crisis of leadership, crisis of morality is being disguised by, uh, by, by creating disruption in the parliament. This is the most unfortunate and okay. nobody can justify their, uh, uh, their, their, their disruption. Right. Last, last point. Yes. They can compare it. I know that they would compare it the BJP had done in the past. But two, two wrongs don't make one right, number one. Second, earlier, there was Jharkhand Mukti Morcha bribe case. This was a huge case against the parliamentary democracy. There were two, uh, scams. So th th that time of obstruction, this time of obstruction, you want the discussion on, 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 on inflation. The, the finance minister is right. not well. Government said that, let finance minister come in, in, in a day or two. She would respond it. There would be discussion. Right. So Mr. Sinha, you know, no it's, it's a good thing that no you... you between the opposition and the government. Right. Mr. Sinha, it's a good thing because you've added that disclaimer to it that, you know, the, because the BJP did it in the past is not... Uh, uh, you know, the same bar that possibly the opposition should follow because what the opposition repeatedly does in these debates is remind you of what your leaders have said many times, 2012 Arun Jaitley, that disrupting the parliament is an important means of the opposition to hold the government accountable. Uh, no, and no, all of no, that, I, sir, I'll come to you with your I, permission. I, I just give me one second to correct Mr. because this, uh, just, just... No, yes, sir. Just give me two seconds to correct it. No, I, did, I said that even if opposition considered that was, uh, that was wrong, even if I, I agree, with, uh, suppose I agree with the opposition, then that does not justify that you do the same thing. But okay. I told you that, that time disruption, I also wrote article that time, sometimes disruption become constructive because okay. that time was a national scheme. 
Four Ra Lok Sabha MPs suspended where the Congress is concerned, six of yours today, including 19 in all. The fact is, the government says, wait it out, the finance minister is suffering from COVID, she'll get better, she'll come in the house, we'll hold the discussion. Why not wait? Well, this is, this is a party which had their defence minister talk on the farm laws. So I find that argument fails in the first instance. If the defense minister of the country can discuss the farm laws in parliament because they thought it was urgent, there is no reason why price size cannot be discussed. We wish, we wish Nirmila Sitaramanji gets well very soon. She's suffering from COVID. This matter did come up in the business uh, uh, meeting with in front of the chair and we very politely told him that 267, the provision under which we moved our notice, is an urgent matter and let the discussion start. If Nirmala ji can reply very well, if she cannot, any other senior minister can. So please do not mislead the viewers. Do not mislead the viewers by saying that we are not willing to wait for Nirmala Sitaravanji to come to parliament. We said we accept it. Any minister, any, even as a commerce minister, and even nicer if the prime minister for a change comes to parliament. Please understand, there are different provisions in parliamentary procedure, many provisions to allow discussion. The one we have invoked has a sense of urgency because of the importance, the importance of the issue we are raising, which is price rise and GST. So, I respect my colleague from the BJP. He is an honorable member of parliament who debates very well in parliament. But I think that using Nirmala Sita Ramanji's Health as an excuse is just a delaying tactic because the government has no answers on price size. What is the harm? Let the debate start. Let the minister come two days later and reply. Has, has that not happened before? Has the defense minister not debated the farm laws in this party? It is just a way of scuttling dissent, which is the trend of this government inside parliament and outside parliament. And I want your viewers to know that this is a pattern. This is a pattern to suppress the opposition and it has to stop. At least I have not gone into the parliament to sit as a mute expectator and keep saying yes sir, yes sir to the prime minister's office and the treasury bench. That is not acceptable to us. Sushmita Dev, as I bring in Rohan Gupta, I want to ask you a question which has been uh, raised by Rakesh Sena as well. And the question is, these are diversionary tactics for the TMC to distract attention from a 20 plus crore scam which is unfolding in your state. Sushmita, Deb, can you hear me? All right, we'll try and get Sushmita back into this conversation. But yeah, I want to get. Sorry, I, you're talking about. Right, Sushmita. No, you know, I, 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 yes. I, I just want to say, I just want to say, I just want to say that in Parliament, in Parliament, the 21 crore scam or whatever, only time will tell, is of no relevance. What impacts the nation is price rise the skyrocketing prices of LPG gas and fuel. And believe me, we have nothing to dodge. We are out there. We are out there fighting. We have already said that we will wait for the investigation. Make sure it's time bound and not don't drag it to malign any political party. Please go right ahead and close this investigation in three months and tell us what your verdict is. Okay, we are not on the back foot. If anybody is on the back foot, it's the government of the day who said, Bahut hui mehengai ki maar. Why are they shying away from a debate is the only question inside parliament. All right, Rohan Gupta, the same question posed to you. These are once again diversionary tactics alleged by the government to save face over the ongoing investigation of Ms. Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi. See, Preeti, even after eight years of being in power, they still act like they are in opposition. The way BJP uh, spokesperson and uh, the, the MP was speaking, I think it is responsibility of the ruling party to run the houses. 
and what opposition party is as opposition parties are asking is debate on price rise debate on increase in gst on essential commodities which never happened in the history of india we can see parma pm speeches old speeches where he was mocking the opposition for gst on this uh, or for service tax on this kind of commodity so why they are not openly discussing these issues in parliament number one as sushmita ji told rule 267 there have been discussions under this rule as far as uh, demonetization is concerned or farm laws are concerned so why the discussions cannot happen this is the arrogant uh, attitude of, of the ruling party they don't want to listen to the opposition party and again blame opposition parties for this kind of things see absolute we are raising people issues concerning the people we have right to do that and it is the responsibility of ruling party to ensure that these discussions happen these discussions are not about the the opposition party they are about the people the way the price rise is uh, going the prices are going up even after reduction in crude prices in international market the domestic prices are going up right. so the government is answerable so you just limit itself only to finance minister telling that because he has covid you cannot have discussion on the issue i think nobody will buy that these are the issues concerning the whole nation right. and rakesh sinha right yeah. mrs mrs sinha mrs sinha the fact is the no, opposition no. says and they have reason enough sir to say that they are burnt you've held you've bought in laws through ordinances you've not held discussions on very very important issues that have affected uh, the people of the country the farm laws is one which sushmita dev was bringing up uh, on the other hand the issue of price rise where you know you put gst on milk on curd on products which directly impact the common man you know one can wait for the finance minister to get better but these are urgent issues you address them first is what the opposition is saying is there anything wrong in that i am answering i am i am answering both the people first thing is sushmita dev is a great democrat and i respect her she is a good parliamentarian and she has been groomed under the uh, process of parliamentary democracy her uh, background is a parliamentary democratic background but i am really surprised when she says that there is no relevance of 21 crore sushmita so dev ji is not a question of 21 crore it's a question of morality democracy survives as long as there is a morality Latin America is finished, not because any other things. They have the same structure we have, because everyone said that there is no importance, there is no place for morality. If your philosophy, your theory is applicable, and if we accept, tomorrow this parliamentary democracy will collapse as it collapsed in in Latin American countries. Kindly don't make Indian democracy as a Latin American democracy. Second important thing: that. this is the same parliament. where none other than jawahar lal nehru son in law prince gandhi raised the mundra corruption case and nehru has to bow down the minister has to resign same parameter of the i am i am talking of the congress regime of nehru regime how the time has changed the entire congress party members from lok sabha rajya sabha left the parliament to show the solidarity with sonia gandhi This is investigation. I don't say this is a criminal. Uh, there is there is an investigation is going on. ED ED and CBI are part of the investigation. They are under the court. You are showing the solidarity for the the corruption. This is the in change of index from ne Nehru's Mudra ke case to this uh, uh, Nehru Haral case. Now I am coming to this. Can anybody justify you you as an anchor? There is a right. Do you have right to protest? You have right to demand or demand, debate on the price rise. If the party is not accepting, go to the people, mobilize the people, pressurize the government, like 1974 JP and people have done. But with the play card, shouting, slogan raising, and compelling the chair, in fact, in, in soft way abusing the chair, is it is it acceptable? Entire day today. we went the parliament not a single five minutes business i stood to speak on the um, the very important issue i am telling you the very important issue so smita they would agree that is the, on, on the issue of uh, uh, there was debate but nobody was ready to debate what, what you are gaining by disrupting the question hour the, in question hour you are questioning from the government minister have to re, has to reply what you are doing by this okay. the zero hour and and this is the old colonial method or just the old colonial method wreck the system from within this was the old colonial method when swarajist adopted go into the inside the parliament disrupt it because there are the colonial rulers we are in the post colonial period there are more so protest should be should change if you want to protest against the government go to the people grab the parliament 
बट डोंट डिस्टर्ब दी पार्लियामेंट और पार्लियामेंट्री डेमोक्रेसी इज अंडर दी थ्रेट राइट सुष्मिता देव राकेश सिन्हा सिंह दस अ थिन लाइन बिटवीन हुलिगनिज्म एंड प्रोटेस्ट the opposition is crossing it it's harking back to what the last monsoon session was where members from your party had torn up even the rule book let me let me remind mr sinha my learned friend that when the farm laws were being passed and the entire opposition was on the floor fighting for it this government and this party gave the same very arguments that mr sinha is giving today and what happened what happened after that the prime minister of india had to repeal that it is our primary duty in the parliament as parliamentarians to reflect the mood of the nation i don't think the people will forgive us if we go to them and say that we will protest on price rise on the streets but i'm sorry we have to say yes sir yes sir to the modi government inside the parliament and we are not going to try our best to raise it in the parliament that is not the way a democracy works in a democracy in a parliamentary democracy the parliamentarians must reflect the peril of the people the tyranny of this government and what is happening to this nation breaking the backbone of the common man if mr sinha is giving me advice on democracy that i should come to parliament and hear him debate a two line a two line bill over three days which is a waste of public money i think a bill that can be debated and passed in two hours maybe your viewers may or may not understand the nitty gritty of that this is what this government is doing if anybody is wasting public money it is this government you have to see the sad state of affairs of their government business they have nothing but they are not debating price rise it is unfair is blasphemous and is a murder of democracy only to protect a party and a chair chair is supreme in parliament priti one cannot say anything against the chair in on a tv but i am telling you for me personally i can say and my party and my friends in the opposition to sit in parliament debating only bills and silently bowing down to this government while this country is suffering the people okay. of this country will not forgive us that i am sure of and my conscience is very clear all right rohan gupta the people of the country will not forgive the opposition is what sushmita deb is saying primarily if they don't pick up the people's causes but the people of the country will not also forgive the opposition for wasting the time and the money of the people by you know crossing that lakshman rekha in parliament where protest and hooliganism is in question so priti it is as uh, sushmita ji said it is our responsibility to raise issues concerning people wholesale price index is all time high retail price index is all time high unemployment is all time high if these are the these are not the urgent issues for discussion what are the other issues we cannot just follow the government just before the parliament session they increase the gst on essential commodities is this not the issue concerning the people what are we asking for we are just asking for the discussion on these issues under rule 267 they could have definitely accommodated us and in the past we have seen the issues which they have avoided in parliament those those are the issues which has impacted the common man let me remind about the price uh, about the note pandi let me remind about the gst there are many issues where this government killed the parliament they passed the order outside parliament without any kind of discussion the country has to pay price of that even farmers the country has to pay price the farmers have to lose their life we cannot allow this government to act like this and make the country suffer and how can they you know blame us it is their responsibility we are just asking for discussions right. they are not adamant let them have the discussions and the parliament will go on but as uh, sushmita ji right. told rakesh sinha and ask you the final question very... there rakesh sinha for both what sushmita dev said and what rohan gupta also added i'm a, I, i'm a, the fact is yes. sir you know the question is relevant from both of them no because way. they are saying you've never consulted them you didn't consult them on demonetization you didn't consult them on farm laws in the very recent times you didn't consult them on even the agni weep uh, scheme you haven't consulted them the fact is you know the finance minister might be sick but the issue of gst on essential commodities is an immediate issue what the op government wants as per the opposition sir is a opposition mukt parliament you know sushmita dev had raised a issue which i i really surprised 
weapons of mass destruction bill is a very important our obligation to the united nation this this here we are amending the law in which we are adding that anybody or any agency or any financial system giving help directly indirectly for the weapons amassing the weapons or or manufacturing the weapons or delivering the manufacture or the weapons which are of mass destruction they would be liable for punishment so this is very important can it be passed without the opposition discussion do you don't think that this is important because this this is related to the hawala this is related to money laundering which west bengal is facing that's why you don't want discussion because things would come next thing as pavan gupta was saying the about the congress party gst again yes. i am reminding today sushil modi ji from bjp sushil modi ji raised the question in the parliament who were the part of the gst council is a autonomous body right. that takes decision in that the, the body which has taken decision about the gst uh, okay. consists of the congress representative congress states ruled by the congress They right. are the you know, that's a, that is a debate that is Such a different a debate which we will get into it is a very ridiculous right. in parliament democracy